Hello, it's Claire from Angelic Scallywags. Today we're going to do something slightly different and that is to go through a scroller box which is a subscription, an artist subscription box in the UK and it's a box that gets posted to your door and you get lots of top quality art supplies in each box, a zine which shows you how to use the art supplies and also contains an artist study, a print and a sticker and a sweetie and also a pad comes in every box. So I've just started a subscription um, and my first box will be coming through in a couple of weeks time but this is a box I just bought that they had left over so I, I paid slightly extra for this particular box and I thought that once a month I would try out new art supplies and just kind of try my hand at something other than watercolour which as you know watercolour is my chosen media um, only started painting about a year ago and I'm not trained at all and so my experiences with other types of media are very very limited so I don't think I've used chalk pastels which are, is what was in this particular box like for a long long time and if I have it was just in our home school with my children um, so in this particular box we got 24 I think little tiny colours of chalk pastels um, and here I am just sort of trying out all the different colours and looking how they look together smudged and just sort of trying to get the feel for the media because it's not, just not something I'm used to and I must say I'm not that keen on it in fact because it's very very mucky and the paint the um, chalk dust gets everywhere so I also got a rubber and I've just given that a go as well a moldable eraser and there's also a white highlighter pen and a pencil that came with the box as well so this is much more more my thing so this is an idea actually it wasn't in the book um, I just like the idea of maybe turning them into watercolor paints because I feel like really I was just going back to what was um, comfortable for me and painting is a much more comfortable feel and I had quite a lot of fun with that I really enjoyed that I really liked the effect um, that they gave now I'm having this is on another day now um, I do a little bit on it every morning and I'm using the ideas that came in the zine and this is like cross hatching and hatching and I'm also doing cross hatching with different colours as well just to see what they look like. Um, the next thing is blending three colours and I'm using, oh yes that's right, a little makeup tool came with the box as well for blending. Um, although actually since then I've bought some cotton buds and they work really well as well and there are lots of those in a pack. So I'm blending again, I'm doing all the blues and all the greens, all the browns and maybe all the reds, yeah all the reds and the yellows and the oranges. Okay, so I'm doing exactly the same as I did before, but this time I'm adding water to it. And this didn't work out as well as I had hoped because the blending isn't as easy with chalk pastels with water um, as watercolour paints are. And here I am just literally using the dry powder and a dry brush just to see what other effects I can get. So <laughs> what I decided to do, because I, I just do not know how to use these properly and I just wanted to play I want to have fun I don't want to have any end goal in mind um, so I've created some coloring in pages out of the designs that I've already done in watercolor and this was one of this was obviously my frog picture um, so I printed off the coloring sheet that I had already made so I'm basically coloring in using the um, soft pastels but in fact I'm using them with water because that's what I felt the most comfortable doing and that's what I wanted to do. I'm not saying that it turned out brilliantly um, because 
they work very, very differently to watercolours. So with my normal watercolour, I would be doing layers, very, very thin layers and building up to a really vibrant colour at the end. <laughs> Whereas here, you kind of, you've got the vibrant colour right from the start. And so there are really no layers, although I did do my best with the frogs, as you'll see. Um, I layered lots of green on top of it. Um, also, the blending of the colours is very, very poor compared with watercolours. Um, but I did quite like how it looked. You know, it wasn't terrible. It reminded me a bit of one of those things, you know, those um, colouring in sheets which you don't actually use with paint. You just use water and a brush and suddenly the sort of the colours come through. Um, this is kind of what this reminded me of because the colours were quite flat looking um, although that could very well be my lack of skill I'm really quite enjoying myself here I have to say because I'm using the water the chalk bits the chalk dust it gets utilized up with the water and so it doesn't go everywhere I must say I'm not a fan of using just the pastels because of the mess it makes. I really liked how the flowers came out. I thought that worked really well. That was probably my favourite part of the whole process actually was just these flowers. Now I'm going with the frogs. So I'm trying to do what I usually do with my watercolours which is to build up the layers but it's not as simple using these um, but it was a huge lot of fun and a big learning curve I do wonder if I actually watched a few videos on how to use the chalk pastels whether I could master them to some extent I don't think I'm ever going to thoroughly enjoy using them though but that little frog didn't turn out too badly but it is really still glorified colouring in that I'm doing. However, the next one I do, so I start another one in a minute without the water, and that is horrendous. So I'm quite embarrassed to even show what I came up with. So I'm not too embarrassed about that one. This one is another matter altogether. I did actually think that um, I had recorded it right from the start, but as usual, I'd forgotten to press record. So I started beforehand, but I didn't miss much. So this is my picture, which is one of the few pictures I haven't actually turned into a design because I didn't think it was good enough. And it's of a silver fox that I saw when I was in Northern Ireland on holiday. Um, and I had gone for a walk down all the country roads and he had turned back to look at me and then he'd scarpered off and you know I wasn't sure what I'd seen because I've never seen a black fox before but I looked them up and they are around and they are around in that area so um, so I tried to draw one but the original one had a fox the size of half the tree um, and it looked absolutely ridiculous. So when I made it into a colouring sheet, I decreased the size of the fox and it is now at least vaguely the right size for the painting. Um, although I'm not, I'm not sure the ladybird is, given that it looks about half the size of the fox. So I cannot get the hang of these pastels at all because any time I blended them, it just seemed to blend into a a mess. There wasn't any um, accuracy to it. And I didn't know how to create the the background which doesn't in a watercolour would just be sort of a wash. How do you create that using pastels? I, I don't know. As I say I probably need to watch a few YouTube videos and figure out, you know, just build a bit of skill. However, I really don't think this is going to be a medium I'm going to work in very frequently. Um, it's a bit too messy for me. 
anyway i hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with um scrawler boxes i'll leave the link below i'm not this isn't a sponsored post or anything um i just thought it would be fun to share my own learning adventure within um the art that i create well, I'm going to leave it here for now. I don't think this picture's going to get any better, so I'm going to quit whilst I'm ahead. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and leave a comment below. And if you'd like to follow my progress, or lack thereof, with all these different art materials that I'm hopefully going to get each month, please do subscribe. I'll see you next week, and don't forget to dream impossible dreams. Bye-bye.